Hello students. Today in this video we will do some numericals. So let's get start the video. So here is a question number 5. Given that the current ratio is 2 is to 1, if the net working capital is rupees 60,600, then the amount of current liabilities would be so students in this question we have given the current ratio that is 2 is to 1 and net working capital figure is also given 60,600 and we have to find out the value of current liabilities so so as you can know that current ratio is 2 is to 1 given we will write it first 2 is to 1 And net working capital is rupees 60,600 that is also given in the question in this question we have to find out the amount of current liabilities so as you know that the working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities formula of current ratio is C upon CN and current ratio value is also given in the question that is 2 is to 1 C A upon C L as you know that the current ratio is 2 is to 1 here 2 represents a current asset and 1 is represents a current liabilities so we will write is equal to 2x upon 1x next is working capital is equal to ca minus cl so amount of working capital net working capital is given in the question so we will put these values into the formula working capital is 60600 and current asset represents 2x and current liabilities represents 1x so after solving this equation we will get x is equal to or 1x represent equal to 60,600 and x represents the value of current liabilities so it is our answer 60,600 current liabilities you can write it 1x or simply x it represents current liabilities so in this way you can solve the current liabilities if you have given the uh, two three figures are given in this way you can calculate the other values also now move to the next question number 28 the question is the current ratio is 3 is to 2 and the amount of current liabilities is rupees 40,000 what is the amount of current assets so in this question current ratio is given 3 is to 2 and current liabilities are also given that is rupees 40,000 so current ratio is equal to 3 is to 2 that is given in the question and we have also given the current liabilities in the question that is rupees 40,000 now as you know that current ratio is equal to ca upon cn it means 3 represents current assets and 2 represents your current liabilities now we have to find out the total figure in which the value of current assets and current liabilities are both included so we will calculate the total amount by using liabilities and current ratio 
current liability is rupees, uh, figure is rupees 40,000 and we have given the current ratio figure that is 3 is to 2 and current liability represents 2 so that's why we divided it by 2 and finding out the gross value we have add up 3 plus 2 3 is to 2 ratio we add up and get 5 number so by solving this equation we have got rupees 1 lakh that represents in 1 lakh our uh, current liabilities and current liabilities current liabilities and current assets are both included so for finding out the current assets we will write current assets is equal to 1 lakh now this 1 lakh represents total value it represents 5 5 3 is to 2 by adding 3 is to 2 3 plus 2 we get 5 so 5 represents a total figure so 1 lakh divided by 5 multiply by 3 that represents your current assets proportion so here we will uh, write 1 lakh multiply 3 divided by 5 we will get 60,000 our current assets figure so this is our answer Take a look at the question. You can also get the current assets by deducting current liabilities rupees 40,000 from the total amount of rupees 1 lakh. In this way, you will get current assets figure that is rupees 60,000. Now move to the next question, question number 30th. X limited has current ratio of 2 is to 1 and quick ratio of 1.5 is to 1. If its current liabilities are rupees 80,000, then the value of stock would be. So students, in this question, a company X limited has current ratio 2 is to 1 and quick ratio is 1.5 is to 1 is given. And value of current liabilities are also given in the question. With the help of current liabilities or current ratio as well as quick ratio, we will find out the value of stock. So, what are the given figures are given in this question? So, current ratio is 2 is to 1 given and quick ratio is 1.5 is to 1 is given and current liabilities are rupees 80,000 are given. Now, you can see that the current ratio we have written, quick ratio also given 1.5 is to 1, current liabilities rupees 80,000. Now, uh, by using current ratio, we will calculate the value of current assets because in the question current liabilities are given already given that is rupees 80,000 so with the help of current ratio we will find out current assets and with the help of quick ratio we will find out the value of quick assets so in this question we have to find out the value of stock so current ratio is 2 CA upon CL and current ratio is given 2 by 1 so current assets we have to find out and current liabilities figure given in the question that is rupees 80,000 by applying this figure by putting these figures into this equation we can find out the value of current assets now by cross multiplying we will calculate the value of current assets that is 80,000 multiplied by 2 rupees 1,60,000. So this is current assets. Now we have to find out the quick assets by using the quick ratio. So quick ratio formula is quick assets upon current liabilities. Current liabilities remain same both in current ratio as well as in quick ratios so quick ratio value is given 1.5 is to 1 by putting this value quick assets we have to find out we will simply write quick assets and current liabilities figure is given in the question that is rupees 80,000 by cross multiplying we will find out the value of 
quick answers. Multiply it, we will find out the value. That is rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand are our quick assets. Now, how we can find out the value of stock? Now, we have find out the value of current assets as well as quick assets. Now, it's time to calculate the value of stock. Stock is calculated, stock is, is equal to current assets minus quick assets. From the current assets, we will deduct quick assets. In this way, we will calculate the value of stock. Because in the current assets, stock value is included. But in the quick assets, stock value is not included. So the difference between current assets and quick assets represents the value of stock. So stock is rupees 40,000. That is our answer. So here you can see that the current assets we have uh, calculated earlier that is rupees 160,000 by using the current ratio formula after this we have used a quick ratio uh, by using a quick ratio we calculate the value of quick assets as well and after getting current assets value quick assets value we will uh, subtract both figures and after subtracting we will get the value of stock which is a uh, 40,000 stock value so this is our answer so students in this video this much thank you thanks for watching